Hello good day viewers, still on the Raymond sums. Today we are going to evaluate the left and the right Raymond sums for the function 2x squared plus 3 on an interval 3 down to 8 and we are given n equal to 5. Remember that uh, n is nothing but the number of rectangles. So before we start, I think it is very important to compute for the actual area so that in the end we'll be able to identify uh, whether the left or the right Raman is over or underestimated. So the actual area will be the integral from 3 down to 8. You see the interval is given of the function 2x squared plus 3 with respect to um, x. So this is going to be our area. And once you evaluate this, uh, you know, the integral of x to the power of 2 will be uh, x to the power of 3 divided by 3. So this will be 2x to the power of 3 divided by 3. Then plus the integral of 3 is 3x. The interval is from 3 down to 8. Then you substitute the upper and the lower limit. The upper limit is 8. So we have 2 um, multiplied by 8 to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus 3 times 8 the whole of this, you should subtract the lower limit, which is 3. So we have 2, 3 to the power of 3, divided by 3, then plus 3 times x, which is also 3. And if you take your calculator and simplify this, you're going to obtain 338.3 recording. So this is going to be the area under the curve. So I think, let me find somewhere and write it. Our actual area is 338.3 recording. So let me wipe all of this. Um, first of all, let me show you how the graph of this function looks like. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Can you see the y-intercept is 3? So it is going to take a turn like this. It is a parabola, right? So we are talking about the area from 3 down to 8. Suppose we have 3 here and we have 8 here. We are talking about this region under the curve. So we are looking for the area here. And how can we find it? Um, by approximation, that is when we use the Raman sum. We are going to inscribe 5 rectangles. So for the left Raman, you have to ensure that um, the height of every single rectangle depends on the left leg. So we have something like this, one, just two, three, four, five, something like this. Then you find the area of every single rectangle, add all of them together. And you have to make sure that they have the same base. And how can we obtain the base? That's what we call dx. So let me compute it here. dx is equal to um remember b minus a divided by n right and this will be b is 8 minus 3 divided by n is 5. this is equal to 5 8 minus 3 is 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1 which means that our dx is equal to 1 so the base of every single rectangle here is one unit but the height depends on what um the left leg. So let me use number line because honestly, I like using number line. Let me show you how it looks like. On the number line, you know you're going to start from 3 and stop at 8. So if you write 3 here, make sure that to add 1 because every rectangle has a width of 1. So 3 plus 1 will give us what? Um, 4 plus 1 is 5, 6, 7, and 8. You stop. So this is where you're going to construct your rectangles. I remember we are talking about left Raymond. So we are going to consider the left legs. Let me show you the rectangles. This is a rectangle. I don't know how they look like. This is another rectangle. This is another rectangle. For example, I'm just giving you an instance. I don't know. It has to touch the curve, remember. So if we have five rectangles, one, two, three, four, five. Talking about the left Raman, you have to consider their left legs. So how can we compute for this area? 
the area, remember, it is equal to dx multiplied by f of x1 plus f of x2. You keep on adding up to f of xn, then you stop. Right? So what is this f of x i's? They are nothing but the corresponding heights of every single rectangle. So let me start computing here. We are starting with the left Riemann. So area for the left Riemann will be dx. What is dx? dx is 1. Multiply by f of x1 depends on 3. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. You stop. Because every single rectangle depends on the left leg. But if you are talking about right Riemann, you start with 4. You stop at 8. You see, we have skipped this one, but we have included 8. But for the left, you include 3, you exclude 8. That is it. Um, so if you take 3, you plug it into the main function. This is the main function. I don't have much space, so I will do that directly. Taking 3, plug it here, wherever you have x. You see, it will be um, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Then 18 plus 3 will give us 21. Plus. Now you take, um, you take 4. So let me compute all of them together. Let me write the function here. That is 2x squared plus 3. Uh, this is how to do that on my calculator. Then you say, okay, when x is equal to 3, that's our first value. You can see it will evaluate it to 21. When x is equal to 4, just replace 3 with 4. This is going to give us um, 35. 35. It is the same thing as 4 squared times 2 plus 3. It will give us 35. Then I'm going to replace 4 with 5. It is going to give us 53. 53. 1, 2, 3. Then I'm going to replace um, with 6. After I have replaced with 6, is 75. And lastly, when I replace it with 7, I have 101. So let me do that right here, plus 101. We are going to add all of this together, then we multiply by 1. This is, you know, the area of rectangle is base times the height. This is the base, because every single term contains its base. So we can factor the base because they have common bases, right? So we are going to add all of these numbers together. 21 plus 35 plus 53 plus 75 plus 101. Then we have 285. Then we multiply by 1. This remain um, 285. So this is the area. And remember, this is our actual area, which means that the left Riemann, what? has underestimated the actual area. But what about taking the right Riemann? If we take the right Riemann, the base remains the same, 1. Then we multiply by, this time around, I told you, we are going to take 4, 5, 6, 7, and we are going to include 8. So this is the only exclusive here. We are going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, then we include this one. So we have 35 plus 53, plus 75, plus 101, then you add the last one, that is when you have um, um, 8 squared, that is 131, so plus 131. So if you add all of these numbers together, you are going to get 416. You know, after multiplying by 1, it will remain 416. So just observe, the right Riemann has overestimated the actual area. This is the actual area, but we have it to be 416. But remember, I told you, if you take the average between the left and the right Riemann, the area will be closer to the actual area. So let me test it and see here. We have 285 plus 416 divided by 2. Uh, this is 350.5, which is closer to the actual area compared to these two areas. So this is our second problem under Riemann sums. Subsequently, we are going to solve as many as possible. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.